Today we're going to be installing a new radiator in the uh, 86 uh, Toyota pickup 22RE. Um, this radiator is off eBay. It's a triple core radiator, which means it's three instead of one. Um, the reason I'm changing it is because this one has a crack in it. Uh, the first thing I can see that's wrong with it is it doesn't have any spot to hook up the transmission oil cooler. So as a temporary fix for that, we'll just be uh, hooking the two transmission lines together until we get an oil cooler and that will be in a later episode. So to start we're going to remove the intake and some of the uh, coolant lines and let the coolant drain into a pan. Next thing I'm going to do is remove this uh, top coolant line. Next we're going to go for the fan shroud, which has four bolts holding it on. I removed the coolant reservoir, which is just one bolt, and that made it easy to get the last bolt that was down on the far side there. Now we should be able to finagle the fan shroud out of there. Next, we are going to remove the lower coolant line, which is going to make a big mess. So we'll put a drain pan down there. And then you can see those two lines right there are from the transmission. So we'll disconnect them and hook them back into each other. Okay, the last coolant line is off and the two transmission oil cooler lines are off and I removed the four bolts that hold the radiator in. You should be able to take it out now. All right, now we can compare the uh, new hotness to the old and busted. So, right there you can see the transmission lines. This one doesn't have bunks for that. That's okay. Um, you can see that one is 
a little bit thicker than that one. But everything looks the same, and I think we'll be able to put it back in. There you can see the transmission cooler line. I have it looped back together. Alright, the new radiator is mounted, looking pretty dope. Uh, I did have one issue there where um, it didn't come tight to the mount, so I had to make a, about a three quarter inch bushing to fit it in there. And I believe that's because I have um, an air conditioning condenser in here. Um, so if you didn't have that, this would probably fit really well. And then I had to slide the hose back a little bit on the bottom there um, because it didn't quite fit with this being pushed back a little bit but otherwise it fits pretty good um, you know this eBay radiator sometimes you win you lose this one I say this is a win um, so next I have the shroud I also had to modify that a little bit to make it fit but it should drop right down in now So we'll be putting the shroud back on next. I had to cut some of the top hose off as well because of the thicker radiator and I believe that they moved this in just a little bit. So cut a little bit off and now it fits in there quite better. There we go, just like new. Um, now we can fill it back up. Okay, so I put the uh, overflow reservoir back in, but there's no fitting. There's a hole for a fitting, but there isn't one there. I have this plastic one, but it's not the right size and it's plastic. So we'll have to pick up a fitting next time we're in town and we'll get that sorted out. Um, now it looks like the coolant is just about full, so we'll throw the intake pipe on and fire it up. run for a little bit and see what happens. Oh, uh, while we're waiting for this, let's see if the uh, drift truck still starts.
Well, judging by the swamp wateriness in this bucket, I'm assuming that the uh, system is cycled now and the thermostat is open. Um, gonna have to flush the system again sometime, but uh, not gonna worry about it today. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching me uh, swap out the radiator on my uh, 22RE. Um, this eBay one worked out pretty good. Um, I'll try and leave a link in the description or maybe I'll post a picture of it right here. Uh, yeah, so please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and peace out. Broke-ass performance is what it stands for.